What's up, guys? <laughs> oh my god, Dr. M3 here. Yeah, we're out in this beast. Do you recognize her? Not surprisingly, we've got a raptor behind us. Oh, that's crazy. So, I figured I'd uh, do a quick little vlog here, just kind of finding out. Make sure to go to Ross Park. Yep. That's the raptor behind us. Trying to figure out uh, what we're doing today and what we're up to. Um, from the White Stallion, just kind of looking around, seeing what's up. So do a quick cruise. Um, I figured I'd uh, check in with you guys and see what's up. I hear all the time that you don't see enough of this uh, beast. Um, and maybe I guess I can talk a little bit about the difference between a V8 and a V10 in mid-engine cars um, because it depends on what you're looking for and I think in this car which is rear wheel drive if you want to get a little tail happy and have a lot of fun you can do that it's it's fast it's not as fast as the Huracan and uh, it doesn't shift as fast as the Oricon. I think the Oricon is way better. But I think the all-wheel drive system is makes it so much more pointy. Take a look at the engine bay. The four-wheel drive system, the all-wheel drive system, makes it so much more pointy that um, it is, it, it, I don't know. And I think even with something like the Lamborghini dynamic steering, that makes the car handle so much better. Um, I still can't wrap my head around what it is exactly that gives you that advantage, but holy cow, is it good. Turn signal there. Go, go around. So, oh my God, this thing sounds so good. I think we're gonna be in traffic. So I'm gonna put the window down so you can uh, hear the engine a lot better. Listen to that crackle. The Oricon crackles too, but this one's way louder and more. Oh boy. So um of the two, I would almost say that the Oricon is um, is better overall. But I think this car certainly has its features. Um, you'll see the shift lights. You've seen it come on before. Um, you know, Manatino, the Oricon has an anime, which is right here. does the kind of same thing. Um, just a great car. And... So anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick shout out. There's not a ton, um, but since I haven't uh, shown you this for a while, I figured I would uh, do a quick little vlog from it, just saying, hey, what's up? Show you around the 458 Italia. Love the contrast stitching and all the carbon fiber in this car is just ridiculous. So this is a feature called the Bumpy Road feature. You see how the camera is kind of shaking here a little bit? And once you put this on, it says Bumpy Road and it just softens the suspension, but leaves all the transmission and everything else. Ooh, M6, I love that. Anyway, so kind of shows you what's going on here. All right, so. So, hey, come on around, come on around. So, that's what you do. That, by the way, that maneuver I just did here is called the slingshot. So, I'd say go over. It's called the slingshot. Somebody jumps in. 
the next person in, and you basically slingshot each other in. So what other car um, things that you do that's similar to what I just did called the slingshot? And usually you do it when you're moving a little bit faster, but you know, it helps when you have multiple cars uh, together. Anyway, let me know what you think, guys. What's going on? Talk to you soon. Ciao.